Hello everybody and welcome to One Player. Today on the table it is Space Park, a game by Henry Audubon. You might have seen this in the unboxing of the miniature market games that I picked up um, last like November time. And uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this. It's a nice little kind of puzzle, um, nice little kind of moving around and adventuring and getting XP and points and getting special powers and blah 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 all that stuff. I will show you how it works and we'll play through it and we'll have a nice time. Um, I want to give you this zoomed in view of the board because I mean just look at it. It's gorgeous. And I say board but what I actually mean is tiles because these are um, seven giant tiles which are all interchangeable so you set them up randomly at the start of the game. Every board or board is going to be different so every kind of game is going to be slightly different. And the way that this works is you might think, well, yeah, you've got three rockets, you get one, your opponents get one, your other opponent gets another. No. Um, actually, what this does is essentially denotes where you're allowed to move and thus what actions you're allowed to take. So each one of these tiles comes with a different action. So this one you get a green crystal, um, this one you get a purple crystal, this one you can change your crystals for cards. Um, oh, you can't quite see that, but yeah, you can change your crystals into cards. But... Uh, but yeah, so this actually becomes like a big action list, and the rockets are essentially the actions which you're allowed to take on any one given turn. Once you've taken that action, the rocket kind of continues its journey in a very uh, formally clockwise um, journey, it should be said. You've still got to follow rules in space. And so you're moving around the board, or you're not moving, but the rockets are moving around the board clockwise, and you get to visit wherever they happen to be on that given turn. Now, the multiplayer game, of course, you can imagine you're trying to like move the rockets out of the places that you know your opponents want to go to and into the places that you want to go to. In the solo game, we're playing against this handsome little scout. His name is Scout, and he's a little standee, which is very cute, and you can move him around and blah, 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 but we're going to lay him down so you can, you can bask in his enjoyable little walliness he lives on astral arcade but he also gets to hop around the board and not necessarily get in the way um but sometimes mess with um the things we want to do um we are racing him to get to 20 xp i will show you how that works in just a second but before that i'm gonna have to zoom back out and uh and set up the game so we can actually like view everything we need to see on the table on the table so before i do that don't forget to drop a like if you like um do consider subscribing if you are enjoying some of these solo board gaming content so far in 2021 oh my goodness and uh and yeah let's uh let's get to it okay and that was um more difficult than it looked but i've moved the board up to this like top right space here we've got all these i forgot to mention even these like beautiful i mean just like weird colored crystals which I'm all for, like, I've seen red crystals, I've seen blue crystals, but I don't know if I've ever seen teal and pink crystals in a game together. And I'm just about it. Yeah, I'm all for it. Carry on. Um, and like we said, we can do different things at different locations. So, like, this will, yeah, this will give us one of those green crystals, this will give us one of those purple crystals, this will give us two of the lovely pink crystals. So, yeah, we're... we're, we're... We're jetting around the board, trying to get crystals, and tr we're using those crystals to pay for these badges. Now, at the start of the game, we're going to gain one badge for ourselves, so that's going to be this inventor badge. We're going to deal out three badges, which are available kind of in like a little market, and then essentially the the badges work like this. We have a, or each of them has a reward. All right, so each of them gives us XP towards that total of 20 that we need to get to before Scout does. Or sorry, sorry before Scout uh, runs down the deck. Each, each badge has a color, so it's kind of like part of a set. And each badge has a cost. So it has a cost of a certain amount of crystals, which as we said, if once we get to Outpost 13 on any turn, we can, we can change our crystals that we have in our inventory into cards. So hopefully there's going to be a place somewhere on the screen at the moment where I'm going to be able to keep those crystals that I'm, I've earned and keep those badges that I've earned. This one isn't earned yet, it's just available for me to purchase, if you will. So we don't start with 3 XP, but we are able to, you know, as soon as we get a green and red crystal, we are able to, uh, to pick it up. Now, the way that the timer works is essentially at the, at the end of every turn, we're going to flip a card and that also becomes an available badge for us to pick up. But then, of course, it's then going to be flipped 
um, by another one and covered up and I'll shuffle these back in so I don't know what they are but essentially it's gonna be covered up by another one um, so we've only ever got like four cards to choose from once these are gone we don't refill them so those are like three that are set throughout the game and then we've just got the one on top of the, the discard pile that, that Scout is creating for us um, yeah I think that's the rules pretty much that that'll cover it um, there's obviously some more stuff to it but we'll cover that when we get to it and yeah let's just uh, let's just start playing so like I said on any on any turn, right, we can choose any one of three actions, anywhere the rocket is, essentially. And of course we want to be somewhat oh I forgot, I need to take I need to take a pink crystal. I forgot. So this this is what I start with. I think is that yes. Okay, so this this might be where my crystals live just to begin with, is right here. Because there's only a few of them. And well yeah, they're just gonna <laughs> just gonna live right there. <laughs> so on the um, on our first turn, we can choose one of three places to go, right? We can choose the Celestial Seas, the Lunar Woods, the Cosmic Canyon. The rockets always start there on every game, um, no matter where the tiles have been laid to start. So we can start kind of getting an idea of maybe what we want to be aiming for, right? We've already got a green um, badge here. And you'll notice that some of the badges, some of them, not all, but some of them, actually I said maybe I should say most, um, have a special power that allows us to, for example, this one, um, green badges now cost one less red crystal to earn. So, for example, this one, if we earned this badge first, this would only cost us two greens and one red instead of two greens and two red and get us five XP. So, not bad. But you'll see that we only have one red crystal. We need a green crystal to be able to pick up this badge, and we need to be at the outpost 13. So, I think a decent place to start would probably be Celestial Seas. If we visit Celestial Seas, we'll get ourselves one green crystal we move the rocket one space clockwise because we've used that action if you will and then it's the end of our turn again this isn't ours yet so we don't yet have this ability we need to earn this at outpost 13 first so i hope that i've explained that correctly maybe i've done it three times over i'm not sure but anyway now it's scout's turn so what we do is we flip the first card we look at the color that's where scout moves to so he's going to go to lunar woods it's purple and this is now a badge that we could theoretically pick up at, on this turn if we had access to Starlight Station. Starlight Station is where we pick up a card, and normally in the multiplayer game this is where you would just be able to draw a card into your hand, but for the solo game this is where you need to be to be able to pick one of these or one of the pile, one of the discard piles. So as of right now, again we've got a couple more, we've got a couple of options, right? We could we can change our red crystal at Fusion Falls into one XP, one of these nice little triangular XP tokens. I don't want to do that because I need this to get my badge. Um, I can gain I can gain two red tokens from Cosmic Canyon, um, which is actually not a bad idea because then I'll be an outpost thirteen, pretty decent. Um, or I can get a purple ca uh, purple crystal, and I mean I could get the Gatherer. It's only worth two XP and. I don't know. Who knows? But I think what I'll probably do is uh, is this one. Um, let's go to Cosmic Canyon. We're going to pick up two more pink crystals and we'll move this spaceship to Outpost 13. And next turn, we can trade in some of these wonderful hard-earned crystals for a nice badge. Again, Scout moves and he's going to... Oh, great. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, this is the thing that I was hoping wouldn't happen because this is a multicolored um, forbidden badge. Um, this means that all of the rockets advance around the board. So that move that I just did to Outpost 13 now doesn't matter at all. Um, so that's frustrating. But, you know, it's clockwise, so we'll always have a chance to come back around. Um, am I getting this on screen okay? I have a feeling my camera's slightly moving. I, I, I don't know why. I just feel like I've got, I've got a bit of a drift. If you're seeing this, it means I didn't edit it out just for realism. And if you're not seeing this, then I'm talking to myself. Mm, I'm not sure. All right, anyway, um, let's carry on. So Scout has kind of scuppered us there. Um, but we do have this rocket ship on Starlight Station, which is kind of nice. So we could pluck another one of these... Um, we could pluck another one, of the, uh, another one of these badges into our hand in order to earn them. And to be honest... Plucking a forbidden badge into our hand doesn't sound like a bad idea, does it? So if we've got this forbidden badge, it does count as all of the badge types, so it would cost us one less red to earn. 
So frankly, it costs a green and a purple, it gets us 4 XP, I'd say, why not? So this is like our little hand down here. Again, it's slightly off camera, but you're just gonna have to trust me. Or maybe I'll do it here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's quite, it's not a massive board, or obviously it's not a massive game, but there is different parts that maybe I should put on two cameras, I don't know. Um, hold on one second. It definitely is moving, so I need to I need to fix this. Okay, now the board is slightly crooked, but I think this will work better, so I've kind of tightened everything up. Sorry, I think it was like a camera stand malfunction there. All right, so where were we? We'd just gone to Starlight Station, picked up the Forbidden card, yes. Yeah, so this is gonna move to Celestial Seas, and then we're gonna flip another Scout. So Scout is gonna go to Red, which is Cosmic Canyon, and that's a nice badge, but I don't know if we'll be able to get it anyway, so maybe it's not even worth thinking about. We do need to get some, some rockets over here, quite frankly, because at the moment, it's not really working out. I should also say there is a way for us to utilize Scout and we can move to any space that he is on, but we have to pay a Sun Crystal or we have to return what's called the Controller to Astral Arcade. Now, as one of the actions where we're on Astral Arcade, we can take that Controller and do it, you know, as, we, as you might imagine. Um, but for the moment, there's not really much point for me to chase Scout around. Um, I can as another action on Astral Arcade because I'm thinking about trying to move this rocket down here, right? So there's another movement on Astral Arcade. You can see I can either go to Scout, pick up the controller, or I can take one of these fast travel tokens. And this just allows me to move my rocket ahead before I visit it. And this might be something that would come in handy over the next couple of turns. So I think this is what I'm going to do. Take a fast travel token. And again, I'm keeping my eye on the camera. I'm so sorry that it's... Uh it might be a bit, you might be getting seasick at this point, but hopefully not. Um, and then we're going to flip the card and it's Scout's turn. So it's red again, which means that, oh, interestingly enough, because he's already there, we're going to move the rockets around. So this one here, this one there, this one there. And actually, that works out pretty well, because then we can fast travel on our next turn and get to Outpost 13. Um... Which, uh, which, yeah, I think I'm going to do. So we're going to fast travel, spend that token immediately, move this rocket to Outpost 13, and then I can take my action um, at Outpost 13, which is trading in my green and pink crystal for this Inventor Badge, which is indeed available in this kind of stack over here. So I have earned 3 XP, and green badges now cost one less red crystal to earn. So I'm going to stick this, like, over here and... Um, yeah, just I'll, I'll I'll point it out whenever it, it comes into uh, comes into play. So um, we're, we've got three XP, and I'll keep reminding you what XP you're on <laughs> as well. Um, so this moves here to the purple. Um, we can gather a purple crystal next time if we so desire. It might be nice to get this forbidden one for sure. And we'll flip Scout and see what he's got to say about it. It's red again. So actually, that there, that there, and that there, and hmm. We really need, we need greens and we need purples, don't we? Greens and reds, and it will cost one less, green badges now cost one less red to earn, so it'll only be two greens and one red. So yeah, maybe let's go for this one. So we're gonna go Celestial Seas, we'll take a green crystal down into our little inventory over here, and we're gonna aim for the Wayfarer badge. Let's move Scout, and he is going to purple. Now then, now then, now then, now then. You know, it would be nice to visit Scout here because I would like a purple crystal for this forbidden card later. It would cost me a red crystal, but I get to trade that for a purple crystal, so it's like not, not terrible. Or I could trade it for an XP, obviously on Fusion Falls. Um, should be said that I cannot move this rocket onto this space, so I would actually skip it and move on to Cosmic Canyon. Um, get one step close to Outpost 13, which isn't terrible as well. So we've got a couple of options. Um, yeah, you know, the purple one can probably wait, can't it? It's probably not worth spending a, a, a crystal to get there for, like, not much reward yet. So why don't I spend a crystal, take an XP token. So I'll take one XP, now we're on a total of four. And I will move this rocket over to here on Cosmic Canyon and we'll flip over Scout and see what he says about that. 
it's a purple, so all of the rockets move. And as for last time, which was a bit of annoying, and a bit annoying when he did that, this time is actually perfect because now we're on outpost 13 again. And I think that's good. Wait, is it good? No, it's not good. I still need a purple. Oh, I still need a purple. I did need that. Hang on. What was I thinking? Oh, we need a green, another green one. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I miss, I, I misspoke. So let's do Celestial Seas again then. So I'll do Celestial Seas and take another green. And now I have enough to do Wayfarer next time. So hopefully this isn't a Forbidden or another purple. Of course it's another purple. All right. Oh, actually, but that's fine because we've got this, this, and that. And this one is now on Outpost 13. So I can, on this turn, trade in all my worldly crystals to get this Wayfarer badge and gain the controller. So it cost me two and one right i've now got nine xp and that's not terrible um, we're nearly halfway there and we've got the controller in our hands so we can pay that instead of a crystal next time to visit scout now this i've used so it's going to go here which means i can probably pick up a card next turn which is a good idea because i don't have anything left to earn other than this forbidden one and so this I need a purple and a green for. Remember, I don't need the red because this counts as a green badge. And my inventor badge over here allows me to not pay the red on that. So let's let's move Scout, see what he's up to. It's another purple. This is very strange. They're all they all seem to be like arranged in blocks, which is very odd. Um, all right, so we've moved our we've moved our things, and now. That's a bit annoying because it's a little bit annoying because like um, well it would have been it would have been nice to be on purple still. I suppose we could still go and get a purple. Uh, we could still go and get a purple using the controller. Yeah, okay. Why don't we do that? I'm going to turn in the controller back to Astral Arcade. Go and visit Scout again. Get ourselves a purple crystal, and we're back in business with some crystal collecting. Red, lovely. That's fine. He can move anywhere he wants, um, as long as it doesn't move us. Because now what I want to do is get a green crystal, I think. I mean, I'm going to have... I can do this one as well. This gets us a green crystal. So if I do... If I, instead of this, I do this... Oh, hang on. Let me think. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be this is gonna be a few different turns, isn't it? So I'm gonna need to pick up the card with this one. Then I need to get the crystals with this one. Move to outpost 13. Pick up, turn in the badge, and then I'll have a green and a purple to get this one next time at outpost. Next time I'm at outpost 13. Okay. Some real strategy going on here. I told you this was a light game, and it really is, and it's not very complicated as you can probably tell already, but. There's some, there's some, there's some thinky to it. There's some thinkiness to it. Let's do it. Let's, let's go to Starlight Station and pick up a card. We'll make it this one. So this is coming into our hand down here, and this ship goes over to Fusion Falls. Scout goes to Purple, so that's fine by me. And then we're gonna go to Cosmic Canyon, which picks us up two pink crystals and situates us very nicely on Outpost 13, ready to turn in our Pioneer badge. Scout is going to go to green, which is fine, and we are going to do just that. Turn in two pink crystals for the Pioneer badge, gain a green crystal for our troubles, and we're going to have to move this, unfortunately. But once this comes back around, we've got enough crystals now to pick up this forbidden one, and we are at oh yeah, 11 now. Uh, yeah, 11 XP. So not terrible, slightly more over halfway. And we're about... Yeah, we're about halfway through the deck, so that's not terrible. Um, Alright, what does Scout want to do? We should keep this face up. What does Scout want to do? He wants to go purple, which is, again, that's fine. Um, so, we don't have any red... So I can't change this for XP, so I cannot visit this. Um, it, you know, I, ca I can't just like choose to visit it and not take its action. I have to take the action. So I think what I'm going to do, because this is a purple left over, is I suppose I'm just going to do... I'm going to gain a purple, I think. I don't really have much else to do. I can gain a green, I suppose. 
but I don't need that as much. Although I do need to be, I do need to be on outpost 13, so it's getting me closer there. But I think I'm gonna do purple. Yes, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do that purple. Two purple crystals now in my inventory. Hopefully, again, you can you can't see those at all. Okay, I'm gonna move my inventory over here now that this uh, now that this lot has been taken out. So remember, this is my hand. This is still in the market. Um, but once we take this, then we don't again we don't replenish the market. So that's good. We've got 1 XP and 10 XP over there, making 11 XP. All right, so we've done that. We've gone here. Now it's Scout's turn. He's going to go to green. And now I think we pick this card up, don't we? Yes, we do, because this will hop us all the way to Astral Arcade. So if I pick this up at Starlight Station, hop, 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 Astral Arcade, and now we're two spaces away from Outpost 13. Lovely, lovely stuff. It's a forbidden card, and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to pick it up this turn, but I am going to have to move all my rockets around, which is fine, um, because, again, I'm one step closer. I don't have any fast travel, so that's unfortunate, um, because I cannot get to Outpost 13 yet. Um, but I suppose with any one of these I can. So do I take the controller? Do I take another fast travel? Or do I take two red crystals? I think I take a fast travel. I'm going to take a fast travel, move this rocket, and Scout does green, which is going to move all the rockets around again. <laughs> That's fine. Again, I've got a backup here, so I was okay. Outpost 13, we can pay our crystals and earn our badges. And let's, we can only do one at once, unfortunately, so I would like to be able to turn both in of these, but I can't. Um, so we're going to do this one. Remember, all, this counts as all badge types. Every green badge now costs one less red to earn. So I can pay just a green and a purple, earn this, and that means we're up to 15, which is not a bad sign at all. We only need five more XP. Now, two of it's coming from this, hopefully. We need to get at least three more. So this card, even though it might be pretty easy to get, it's probably not worth it because we want to be able to just smash it out when we get to outpost 13 like probably in one turn rather than having to wait two to do like a two and then a one xp or whatever um so yeah that's my that's my thinking here we are scout is going to red and we are going to um uh where are we going to <laughs> should we go to starlight station I think we keep this fellow on, on Outpost 13 as, as long as possible. Um, oh wait, hang on. No, he has to move. Sorry, he's already on Starlight Station. That's my bad. Um, I should have moved him last turn. Um, so now, actually, we can either grab this, but it's only 2 XP again, so it's probably not there's, not... there's no point. I can grab another purple, or I can grab a green, or I can grab another fast travel, which is less I'm less inclined to do that at the moment um, it's it's interesting how much the order of the board does actually impact the gameplay like I've had games where like all the crystals were together and then all the other stuff was together and that was very much it's very different to this layout where I've got like every crystal is separated by one of these like maybe less I don't, know, I don't want to say like less useful but these are like this is the only you know this is the one you really need these two are like, yeah, they're good to have. This one you need. And then the three crystals are like, that's your like your lifeblood. Um, and it's, yeah, it's interesting how much they change the game around. Um, I'm talking because I'm stalling for time. I think I'm going to get... A... Let's get two purple crystals and then see what happens. So I'm going to go purple from here. That's going to move me to Celestial Seas. We'll flip over Scout's card. Hopefully it's something good, which it really isn't but it's good in terms of xp so uh, scout's gonna move to green and do i want to take that card that's the question i'm on that would get me up to 19 xp so i would still would need to do this one and this one um but it's gonna need me it's gonna need me to get two more green crystals, which is tricky, but not impossible. Mm. 
don't know. Or do I try to wait for something a little better? Do I wait for like another, you know, purplish card? Purple-ish card. I think I'm gonna push my luck and wait. I'm gonna do a green crystal at Celestial Seas, move to Fusion Falls, and hopefully this is a better card that I can pick up next turn. It isn't. Oh, but it kind of is because it's five XP, which would actually push me over the limit. So, in fact, um, oh no, no, that's terrible. It's green. So all my ships move and now I can't buy the card. Oh no, I might have just goofed. And that might be the end of the game. Let's see, <laughs> let's see. Because now I can't purchase the card. I'm not on Starlight Station anymore. And I've only got one fast travel token, so I can only get to here. Oh no. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take Cosmic Canyon, add two pinks, move to Outpost 13. Hope this isn't something great. Oh no, 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 no. Scout, you're absolutely messing me up. All of those are going to move around. And now we've got, now I can't even claim this one. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Let's see what the best thing to do is here then. Um, oh, well, the best thing is to fast travel. I'm going to fast travel. Oops, messed up my board. The best thing is to fast travel, move this to here, grab this forbidden card, and then hopefully be able to put it in my deck, because I do have enough to claim it. That will get me to 19, and I'm still... Oh, I'm very close to losing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but let's see. Um, Scout is going to go to red, which isn't helpful to me whatsoever. I am going to go to... Oh, this should have moved there, sorry. Um, hang on. What have I got? 4, 9, 11, 15. This will be 4. I can get 1 from this. Aha! Trade this in for 1. Oh, this is going to be close. So I've got two XP tokens, and now I'm just reliant on this, on the last two cards, to be able to claim this forbidden. <laughs> Ooh, tense. So hopefully this is red or forbidden, and it'll help us move. It is not. Scout, you get. Um, we might be able to win on the very last turn. Let's see. We're going, we're going to gain two red crystals flip this if it's green i'm going to be very upset it's not it's red so now the deck is done but it is still our turn and until we have to pull the deck we're not game over so which point we can visit outpost 13 with this ship turn in a green and a purple crystal and if we are to count this one was not useful but if we are to count, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and we have just, just, I mean like right under the radar, pipped Scout to the post, picked up 20 XP on the very final turn, and that is a game of Space Park. I'll be quite honest. Every single one of the games that I've played, and I've played quite a few, have been that close. Which I think is fascinating, because I was going to bring it up at the start of the video, and I was like, well, I don't want to, like, don't want to jinx it. But literally every game has come down to, like, either, like, the last card or the last two cards. It's been very, very close each time, and I have no idea how the game has done that, but it's very well balanced in terms of, like, tension. And I think, had we not made some of the decisions we made and had we not got kind of lucky with some of the scouts that we either got or didn't get we probably would have lost that game but this yeah there we go 20 points 20 xp my best score is 23 i managed to like land like a massive xp i think there was like a 6 xp card or something in one of these that i was able to land like at the very last moment yeah this one i think um, I was able to, and then there's a couple of um, there's a couple of cards which it's like, oh, at the end, like you add up extra points for every, what is it like? Yeah, yeah, like worth plus one XP for every other badge of this color. 
yeah, I like this one too. So I had like a, a really nice run at the very end um, where I like, yeah, got 23 points. But there you go, 20 XP, not bad. And uh, and that's that. So that that's a game of Space Park. Um, pretty quick, as you can see, pretty simple. I, I really like the mechanic of kind of like, because you think that you're moving, but you're not really moving. You're just choosing actions on a board, um, which could have been put on a card, but instead using the rockets and moving them around and having the like, Having the movement not be like player movement, but movement between choices or movement between action options is actually quite fascinating and, and a pretty cool mechanic. So if, if that's duplicated in parks, then I'm all for it. Um, if not, I'm all for it anyway, because again, I mean, the artwork in this game and in the parks is, is just gorgeous. I mean, it's just like, again, I'm going to do a little zoom in so you can kind of just, just, just feast your eyes. It's absolutely glorious. And everything is... I mean, frankly, one, everything is, like, really well constructed. I mean, you've got crystals and chits and miniatures and standees and all sorts of little, yeah, little... The cards are great, the tokens are great, or whatever these are. Not tokens, but, like, boards. Yeah. All for it. So, yeah, not a bad, not a bad little game. I, I do want to play this multiplayer because I think it would be certainly interesting and quite fun. It's, like, kind of a bit of, like, a take-that game, maybe. Um, solo, yeah, I, I would pick it up. I mean... Like I said, I got it on sale, so I, I wasn't too I, I wasn't too put out by it. Um, it's not a solo classic by any means, um, but it's a fun little puzzle. Um, and I suppose, I mean, yeah, like I said, the fact that every game has come down to the wire that I've played so far says something, right? It says something about it. I don't know exactly what it is, but it says something. And if you're looking for a nice kind of nice kind of filler game, um, a nice game to play in in thirty minutes, then yeah, give it a go. That is going to be it from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, go and join our Discord. Um, we're having a great time over there discussing Sudokus and Thermo Sudokus and Thermos Sudokus and all, and all sorts of different um, logic puzzle variants as well as the standard, you know, what did you play this week? And everyone has some very... Some 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 games that I've never even heard of. So I'm like I'm I'm learning a lot on the Discord and uh, yeah, come join us and and uh, hang out. It'll be fun. Um, other than that, um, thank you so much to everyone who's been joining in the live streams. They've been a lot of fun over the past few weeks too. I'm having a really good time with those. So the long way those those continue. I'll be scheduling something um, for this upcoming week as well. And uh, and yeah, let's. Uh, that's it. Drop me a like if you like. You know, subscribe if you're new. And uh, until next time, I will see you later.